Welcome to another Tuesday video. Today I have something special. It's just something that happened and um, it was actually pretty predictable. I don't know if you remember from a couple years ago I have a um, Hapalopus species Columbia large female who escaped and was missing for two months. Uh, she was found in the closet in a bag of substrate but I searched everywhere for her and uh, I remember I had showed photos of her and I talked about how she just disappeared when I turned around to get a catch cup. Well, today, you won't believe it, but I'm going to share her escaping again. And this time she didn't make it very far, but I have to tell you, she is the number one tarantula in my collection who escapes. There is nobody else who escapes like she did, does. I had um, a, an Aphonopelma species escape the other day. This was a, I don't know, like a juvenile, maybe about this big. And it didn't go far, and it didn't move fast, not like she does. And I've had old worlds escape on me, and they just huddled somewhere, and I was able to find them. But she's just very unpredictable, but at the same time, predictable. She did exactly the same thing that she did the first time she escaped. I put food into the opening of her burrow and she went and exited the other side and ran all the way around the tank and I moved my hand really quick and she came outside of the tank and then I tried to put her um, in a catch cup and she ran under it. I'm here with my dad's dog, Jewel. Oh, poor girl. Hi. Hi, Jewel. Hi. So this, this little dog um, has been through a lot because as I had mentioned in my last video, my dad passed away on July 22nd and Jewel was his little dog who had been with him for 11 years and always by his side and so I'm trying to help her, my sister and I are trying to help her cope with the loss and give her a new home where she feels loved. Uh, I'm going to leave you with this video. You are welcome to laugh at me. Um, <laughs> I shouldn't have been surprised, but I was. It's just like, how many times is this going to happen with this girl? And let me tell you this. I am hesitant to work with her. I need to breed her, pair her with a male that I have. And I am just... I'm kind of a little anxious about it because I'm afraid of what's going to happen. First of all, I don't want the male to get eaten. I know sometimes this just happens and as much as I have tried to prevent it from happening in some cases, it has happened anyway and I always feel bad. And secondly, she might just run out the other side. So I'm going to have to figure out how to set it up so she can't escape and I'm really, really on my toes. That's my goose. He's he's screaming at us. Say hi, Fred. So anyway, it's a pretty hot day here. That's all for now. If you would like to see something in particular or for me to talk about something, let me know. I'm always looking for some video ideas. So have a great one. In this enclosure, I have Moneta. She is a little um, Hapalopus species Columbia large and she molted here last month and she did gain a little bit of size and I have a mail um, from someone uh, on loan and I'm going to try pairing them. So right now I'm just trying to feed her a little bit. She's very skittish. I had her escape on me once. Um, I think it was at least a year ago, and she was missing for over a month. I think that was during the summer, and I really thought I'd never see her again. She was so quick, and she just, I don't know where she went, but she hid from me when I turned around to get a catch cup, and I do have a video about that. And I found her in some substrate in the closet. Now, what she tends to do is run away. 
if I put a roach in, she might just scramble out and take off around the other side of the enclosure. That is what she's done before. So hopefully that won't happen today. Oh, <laughs> you know, I say that a little too soon because on this side um, over here, you can see her feet. She is right there and she's already planning her escape. So her, she likes to just go up and over the back and bye bye, I'm out of here. So I'm going to just put the top on. I don't want to risk having her get out again. That was a really hard time wondering if she was okay. So I'm just going to try to put this roach in in a different area, maybe the area she just tried to come out of. Hopefully she will eat it. Let's see there. Oh! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, it's like you expect it, but you don't expect it. And like, she, this is her thing. <laughs> Holy cow, all right, we are not going to escape again, girl. <laughs> that just really scared me. She's so quick, I swear. This is, <laughs> that's why this is not a beginner tarantula. <laughs> you just don't want to wish that on anybody. <laughs> I don't even have any old worlds that act like that. So, <laughs> please don't go behind anything. I'm going to have to try and catch her, but I was, I was like hoping something exciting would happen. This wouldn't be the most boring video in the world. Oh crap. She's so quick. She's so quick it's ridiculous. Would you believe that she just went under <laughs> this exoterra and now my light is starting to collapse on me. Okay, so this is going to be very interesting because there's all these different exits she can take. She's so good at this escape stuff. <laughs> Sorry about my cackling laugh. I was just like beside myself there and uh, yeah, she sure came out of there fast. Now that is an example for me <laughs> again. Okay, so she's got four different ways that she can get out of here. Um, if I pick this up, I don't know if she's upside down or sitting forward. The other thing is, is if I look away, she might just take off um, under one of these shelves and I won't see her again. So, the question is, what do we do? What do we do? If she comes zooming out one of the sides, it's just going to be too quick for me. There's no way that I'm going to be able to catch her. Well, I think putting her inside of another container while I demonstrated this was probably, in hindsight, the right thing to do. Right now, I'm not taking my eyes off of this enclosure because she will take a run for it. She just scrambles right over stuff, too. I mean, she has no qualms about, you know, trying to go under. Okay, I see a foot. You see that foot? Now, that is one sassy girl. She knows I put something over there. Nope, she sees this. Now she's she's gonna go the other way. So I'm just gonna put some enclosures around here. The thing is, is the table that was in here the other time she escaped is not in here. So she's out of luck there. I see her feet over to the left now. They're right over there. So, I don't think she can't get out that way. All right, girl. Um, well, she probably can, to be honest. Oh, she went away again. She's so, she is so crafty. I wish that I had my paper towels in here. Uh, that would be very helpful right now. But I don't. They're in the other room. I'm going to 
make this a little wider so that you can see what I'm dealing with here. <laughs> be prepared, everyone. Always be prepared. Famous last words. I mean, this has happened to me a couple times. You know, a good tool to have around in a situation like this would be some Play-Doh. Because you could just mold it and stick it under here. So that's one. Nothing out the back. So if I can just get these sides covered, then I can, maybe she'll run into this other enclosure. So that'll help me contain her. Where is she? And not all <laughs> uh, H species Columbia larger like this. Um, this girl, she has a history of this stuff, and uh, even though I'm ready, or I say I am, obviously I'm not, uh, she could run out here into this enclosure up over the top of it, and boom, that's how crazy she is with her escape. I wouldn't even be surprised if she's already run away, and I just didn't see her. <laughs> what I've done is stuffed these pieces of paper in all these openings. Okay, she's under there. I'm <laughs> I'm still laughing at myself. Um, I have confidence that this is going to be okay in the end. I'm just going to refuse to come out now. Well, she's not going to play my game. It may very well be that the only thing I can do is pick this up. Last time she got out, she I'm pretty sure she ran into a little tiny crevice um, in a table. And she hid there for a very long time. Like, probably weeks. Um, I turned the room upside down. <laughs> oh, same tarantula, different day. How am I... How? Here's the question. How on earth am I going to pair this girl? How? How am I going to pair her? You see what I'm dealing with? I think I'm going to just have to pick it up. And this is crazy because I know I'm not as fast as she is. All right, I think um, she's she's surrendered. That's incredible, and I'm not even sure if I believe it. I mean, should I? Should I trust her? The will? This is probably what happened last time. She, she ran out, she got scared, she huddled up, well, for a minute, and stayed there until I was gone. But at this moment, She's gonna panic. Oh, I can't believe that I caught her. Very good, very good. But after my little freak out, which I'm kind of surprised, she did what I expected her to do and, and that was a little much. Okay, she's back. <sighs> that was something. <laughs> you can learn some really important lessons from me, things not to do. And you'll notice I tend to repeat some of these mistakes. And she's pretty big. She's gotten big um, since her last molt. Big girl. Is she? All right, she's back in her enclosure. Definitely where she belongs. And. I think that was a bit stressful for her and me. There she is. Boy, what an experience. <laughs> Guess I jumped. Even though I knew what to expect. <laughs>